Hi, Jeff here, StopTheSnurt.com. Snurt happens, stop it. On this overhead door, we're going to put on a side and top seal. It's a 10 foot by 9 foot, so 10 foot wide, 9 foot tall. And we're going to seal up the side and the top so it's as tight as the front door of your home. So to keep it warmer in the winter time, to save you money, and then keep it cooler in the summer. Because this is a commercial door here. And we're because it's white, we're going to be using a white side and top seal. We have multiple colors depending on what color your door is here. So we're going to show you how to install that. Thanks for stopping by and we're going to get started right now. Now we are going to do the side and top insulation in, of the snurt stopper here, the side and top seal here at StopTheSnurt.com. We have, here's our supplies, we have our white screws, we have a rag, a pen, scissors, tape measure, and then we pre-cut the side and the top seal. This door is white, so we're going to do it in white. Um, we've already cut it to be 10 feet 1 inch, and that's how you would receive it if you have a 10 foot wide door. We always cut 1 inch extra for you, um, whatever your width of your door is. And the other two are your 9 foot for going on the side, and we did those at 9 feet 1 inch. So again, you get a little extra. And then on this door, because it's 9 feet, and I'm six feet, we have a ladder. And um, you'll probably need a ladder in most installations. So we'll get started and show you how you install the top and the side seal so we can make uh, this overhead door sealed as tight as the front door of your house. Before we start, we're gonna start with the top seal and then do the two side seals. But the first thing I wanna do is clean everything up. Get everything cleaned up. There's cobwebs on this one here, so we're gonna clean the top and the side. Just use the old rag and get it all cleaned up. So now we're going to do the installation of the top and side seal. We'll start with the top first. We are going to keep our existing garage door weather stripping. Um, our philosophy on that is like in the wintertime, if you have two, a t-shirt and a shirt, you're going to be warmer. Two layers are better than one. And these are okay. I mean, they are, um, they're starting, don't form back as good as when they were new because these lose the elasticity. Our stuff doesn't do that because it's made from a Kevlar material and it's engineered to seal for life. Let me show you our side seal and our top seal. We're going to do white. We have multiple colors um, to choose from, but this door's white, so we're going to install white. But if we look at this here, we have again another, what we call the lip side and the loop. If you look real close on the loop, there also has a piece of insulation in there. We're the only garage door sealer, both bottom and side, that seals and insulates. That's how we can keep the area warmer and seal up your overhead doors or your other doors as tight as your home door. Now when we install that, the, the insulated side, the loop side, goes against the door. So on this piece here, we're, um, when we install that, we're going to go left to right because I'm right-handed. And we're going to install that just like this here. And um, if you're going to put it on existing weather stripping, you're going to basically line up this edge to be even um, to that if you're on a residential door. These are a little thicker uh, because it's a commercial door. But generally speaking, when you line that up, you're going to line that up almost close to the edge. Now this one, I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to bring it in about an eighth of an inch so I get a little bit more sealing on, on the door because that's where we want to seal. So anywhere between right on the edge to about an eighth of an inch is real good. We don't want to go too far in because when the garage door opens then you'll catch that. So I have found over the time of all my insulations, just like I, you see how I have lined it up here on this door, I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch just because of the width of the weather stripping that was installed on this door. Okay, so we're going to install a screw every nine inches. There's two ways of doing it. You can do it while you're up on the ladder, or you can do it on the ground. I like doing it on the ground. It takes a little longer, but I'm, I know that I'm, I'm pretty much nine inches. A lot of people just guess, and that's fine with me too. Whatever works best for you. Now, when I, when I measure it out, I start about, uh, about three about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch here, 
close to the side, about a half inch I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to go down every nine inches. I'm just going to put a little dot because the screw will cover it. 18, 27, so I'm just going to go down. And that way when I'm on the top of the ladder, it's a lot easier. Okay, what I like to do before I start up here, I actually like to put the screw in the material first on the first one. Because that's the hardest one to do. So I'm going to put that one in first. And I'm going to go probably about an eighth inch to the left side there. And then I'm going to go about an eighth inch off that just because this is a thicker um, weather stripping than most. And in, during the nice weather, I like to do it with the garage door open. If it's cold, then I do it with the garage door closed. So you can do it either way, whatever works best for you. Now I don't go real tight at first until I get my second one installed. Now I'm going to install the second one here. And it's good to use a magnetic bit. If you don't have one, you can buy a little mag mag magnetizer, whatever, and that will do it very nice. Nice to have a magnetic bit. I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. Now, I, you want to pull it tight with your one hand. That's why I like a dot. You don't want it super tight. You want it tight. You go too tight and then you bunch up the material. That's a screw of hard knocks after many installations. So this works really good. I'm trying to keep that lined up. So I'm pulling this tight with my one arm here, my left hand. and running it up tight, but not overly tight to bunch the material up. I do 99% of my installation by myself. Most people do it, so that's why on this video we're showing you how to install it by yourself and have a professional looking job. This is why I like measuring it on the ground. It's a lot quicker when you... Now, some people say, what do you do if you have some of the big doors that are 20 feet long, 24, they will splice the current weather stripping. If you come across that, if this was the splice right here, you're going to put one screw here, one screw on the other side. So you would, you don't do, that's where you um, don't, we want you to put extra screws. This door, you don't have a splice, but if there is a splice, you're going to put it on one or the other side. One on either side of the splice. So now, as you can see, we put a little extra here. So we're, it's, this is where it's good to measure, and like about an eighth of an inch, it does not have to be right up there, but about an eighth of an inch, you're going with the right side next to that weather strip, about an eighth. About right there, and we're going to put a screw there. Now if you look left to right, look at how nice that looks. We're going to have a very nice sealed garage. Now we're going to start, I always do the left side next, so that's our next one. Okay, we're going, before installing the side seal, we're going on the ground, mark every nine inches. You're going to mark on the non-insulated side. So this is your insulation, and let me just show you something again. This is going to go up like this here. I'm going to walk over here. So 
This is how it's going to go. This is your garage door. Remember, your insulation is what lays against your garage door. And then this is what's your lip. The non-insulation is what's going to go on your existing weather stripping. You can just guess every nine inches. We like to measure it out because it goes a lot quicker. So we're going to be measuring it right here. So let's show you here, right there. We're going to be measuring it right there, starting a half inch from the top. We'll use a tape measure. We're going to go half inch from the side. The first one, we're going to go half inch from the side. First one, we're going to go half inch from the side. And now we're going to go every nine inches, just a little dot, every nine inches. And again, we're marking it on the non-insulation part of it. Okay, so we're going to start on the top. The insulated loop is what's going against the door. We already pre-did our nine inches. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're going to install that all the way up to the top. On this door here, I'm going to go about one eighth inch in the existing weather stripping. Make it nice. Make it not real tight on the first one, so we got some slack again. I'm pulling down. Get it nice and tight. And coming back here. You don't want it so tight that you bunch it up. I'm just stopping it right before. I'm making it tight, but not so tight that you bunch it up, bunch the Kevlar material. Okay, now we're going to cut it. Again, we like to we'd rather cut twice instead, instead of being too short. So I like to line it up. done with one side we'll do the other side okay I always like to start the first one right here get it started So we're going to finish this out, pull it tight. We trimmed it before to make sure, remember, so it's nice and bottom, nice and tight on the bottom. So we just finished up installing our side and top sail. As you can see, this is nice and tight. And it will always be that way, completely from the bottom to the top and over. We are completely sealed. This door, snurt's not happening anymore here. We're keeping all the dirt, dust, grime, bugs, critters out of this door. And we're keeping it warmer and keeping the work environment safer because we did the side, top, and also the bottom. Snurt happens. We stopped it here. If you have any questions, you can call us at 800 to 505502 or visit us stopthesnert.com. Snert happens. Stop it.